Sadly, our longest serving monarch, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, has passed away and the UK has entered a period of national mourning. Due to her age, I knew this would happen before too long, but the finality of it and the sadness of it hurts more than I could have imagined. Since I was born, she has always been the Queen. Indeed, for most of the British population, the Queen has been the only monarch we have known. She has been on television countless times in every year of my life. And outside of my direct family, she has been the one constant, inspiring billions of people around the world, including me. She has devoted her entire life selflessly to her duty and tirelessly carried out her tasks without complaint. Her longevity is incredible. At the time of her coronation, Chairman Mao was the leader in China. And then in 1986, when I was just two years old, at the invitation of President Li Xiannian, the Queen became the first reigning British monarch to visit China. She described China then as far better than 10,000 words can tell, and added that China and Britain's ties were closer than ever. The Queen never let politics enter her life. She rarely ever stated her opinion on the matters of the day. She lived to serve, to help others, and to improve people's lives throughout the world. She has been a bright, shining light in all of our lives. And while she may have passed on, her light will never fade. The sadness we feel today is only present because of love. Myself, our nation, and billions around the world loved you, Mom, just as you loved each and every one of us. Rest well, Your Majesty, and thank you for everything. You truly were the best of us.